For about 40 years, I've always wanted a rock garden water feature. We get up to 30 different species in a day. Man, I want a greenhouse. The sound will pull them out of the sky. You turn it off and just have a little puddle, you'll get one-tenth the amount of birds. Goldfinches are coming. Female black-headed grosbeak. A pine siskin. So you are the bird man. Okay, so where are we at, Robin? We're outside of Albany. Oregon. That's right, at Ron's house. So we got an awesome palmless waterfall here in the back. Show me that mascara. Matches your hair. I That's love right. it. <laughs> I'm Greg Whitside, the Pond Guy. I'm out with Robin and Chris, and they are from Poseidon Aquatic Designs. And what do we got here, Chris? It's a about 10 foot palmless waterfall. Okay, let's go check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem water feature. Hello, sir. Hello there. I love that hat. And you are? Ron Marion. Ron, you? the pond guy. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So do you like these two, or at least one of the two? <laughs> this one I've never met. Yeah. Oh, we you did say lot. you've never been here. Right. Isn't this fun to go out and do these yeah. things? It's nice so, to finally meet you. Look at the talk phone. She is yeah. fantastic. Yes. <laughs> a car salesman. <laughs> She's the better half of the two. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Can we see your water feature? Sure. Oh, yeah, let's there. go walk around there. How long have you lived here? Look at these views. I oh, love yeah. it. That's part of the reason. Like, yeah. Place. Yeah. Six years. Okay. So is this a retirement home? Pretty much. Yeah. It was bare lot when we got it. All the plantings, all the structures. Nice. The yeah. Garage, of course. So this is your hobby, huh? Oh, yeah. I love this gate. Yeah. Recycled. So there's a lot of little projects going on. Oh, that's good. This is what you should do in retirement. Stay busy. Oh, I love the bamboo. What zone are we out here? Eight? 8B. 8B, okay. So it's almost tropical. Look at that greenhouse. Wow. Man, I want a greenhouse. I'm jealous. Oh, here we go. Facing the courtyard. Oh, listen to that sound. Okay, so how did this whole thing come about? Well, for about 40 years, I've always wanted a rock garden, water feature, etc. Uh huh. Back when we were no longer renters and we were owners, but the problem was we never had enough room. So finally, after living here from California six years ago, you can get more land for your money out here than in California. Pretty much. So I did some online research to find out what was available from the various local contractors. And, this guy. and so, how long ago was that? Believe it or not, it's only been eight months ago. Okay, so this is your a first year pond this water feature, and what has it been like living with it? Interesting. We obviously have a lot of wildlife around here. Uh huh. Birds especially. Oh yeah, look at they love the sound. They come and they exactly. get attracted. So you get yeah. a lot of them bathing in those and oh, yeah. drinking. Yeah, we got uh, goldfinches, robins, all kinds of different birds. Uh huh. Loving the water, and they like moving water. The sound will pull them out of the sky. You turn it off and just have a little puddle. You get one tenth the amount of birds. Yep. So right now they're not around, but we get up to thirty different species in a day. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, I see the feeders out. So you are the bird man. Yeah. And how's it been like from a maintenance standpoint and everything? Uh, not, not a big deal. We had some green algae problem, but not that big a deal. And we had it running all year. During the winter, it was really interesting because we had 10 inches of unexpected snow. And this was just like white mounds. And all of a sudden, there was this black canyon. Just yeah. And the birds still came in. Uh... A few. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was odd, though, seeing that running water yeah. in the midst of all the snow. And then do you have lights on this for nighttime? Oh, uh, no. So it's just a daytime just enjoyment. Have some lights in the greenhouse, but that's about it. So you've enjoyed it. Yeah, what I really like is the movement and the shapes and the fact that it looks like such a natural outcrop. I watched these two guys, Alex, out here with their backhoe and their 
slings discussing every single boulder. But the middle boulder, that one. That big one. Is the key. Yes. That's and a gorgeous rock. They spend a lot of time on that one. Yes, how it would fit. And it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. They must have picked that out at the yard because you see how it's got that notch in it? Yes. At an angle, and it just changes the direction. And it's all done with one rock. I mean, that's, yep. That's brilliant. Well, it's art. It's our art. So what do you have down here? You have an auto doser and adjustable speed pump. Yep. Everything beneath this fake rock. So are you turning it up or turning it down? I'm turning it up. Okay. So you can dial it in however the sound you want, depending on how you want it. And we have a master system in the wall. Oh, that's your master bedroom? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Right there, listening to that. I wanted to definitely see this. Now, did you build this as well? It came from the kit. But you installed it when you bought this house? Yeah. Nice. Wow. So most of this Cymbidium orchid collection here. In the middle of the winter, it's in great bloom. Right now, there's nothing. Sure, sure. Yeah, we've got some herbs, some cilantro, some basil. Mm-hmm. Tomato plants. <laughs> I love it. Well, if you're in zone 8B, you might as well take advantage of it. It gets pretty hot in the summer. We have to put shade cloth over the top. Yep. And it gets cold in the winter, so I have a heater here, but it's still a cool greenhouse, technically. Here's that sound with the pump turned all the way up. And here's that sound with the pump turned all the way down. Ta-da! So what do you like? You like it more? Put in the comments below. And it could also depend on your mood. Maybe you want a softer mood or maybe you have a party and you want it louder. This is the Aqua Surge 2 to 4,000 pump. This is at 2,000. The other sound is at 4. Which do you prefer? We're just watching the birds come and enjoy the feeders and the water feature. One is that right there, buddy. A pine siskin. A pine siskin. Okay. Beautiful bird. Female black headed grosbeak. Beautiful bird. The bird man. Goldfinches are coming. Oh, yeah. They're the most common songbird in the country. They have four to five different kinds of feeders. Those are European starlings. Well, this is definitely bird heaven back here. Yeah. Three different kinds of woodpeckers. Okay. So about how many total birds have visited your feeders and your poundless waterfall? Over the six years we've been here, probably 62 or 63. Wow. In any particular month, we have maybe 32 to 36. Look at all those pinches. In any particular day, we probably have at least 25. Yeah. Well, and they love the sound of water. That just draws them in. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're lucky, we'll see some flashing around. The robins especially. Yeah. Late for the day. <laughs> So this whole area was just grass when you got it. Correct. Chris, you brought in 20 yards of topsoil here yeah. to make this bigger slope? Yeah. He had the bones of this set up, so there was some fill soil back here, but it was about halfway filled up at about that point. Yeah. And so we finished it off with some topsoil and some... Topsoil. And then you brought in like 20,000 pounds of rock for yeah, this. Yeah, we brought in some extra boulders. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of work, huh? To build something like this. Oh yeah, and it's still ongoing. That's just great. This is your therapy, buddy. I absolutely love it. This is how a yard should look like. A little bit of grass, that's fine, but it's mostly just natural, and the birds yeah. love it. I kind of like the view from up here even yeah. more than the view from down there. Yeah, because it feels like you're in the mountains. Amen. Because you built a mountain with 20 yards of topsoil and 20,000 pounds of rock. How about this? Instead of just having a boring backyard with grass, the bird man created a paradise and you'll never be able to get more wildlife than when you put feeders in and the sound of running water. If you have a bird bath right now, if you put a little dripper in it, but when you get a waterfalls like this, you are gonna attract wildlife galore and nature at home. This is what more people should be doing. If you're interested in creating nature at home and living the aquascape lifestyle, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you. And if you're interested in learning how to build these water features, check out Team Aquascape on YouTube, which is the construction channel about how we do this. And if you're interested in a career in this industry, check out all of our links for the Aquascape Academy, the Aquascape University Online, Pondemonium, and all the fun stuff. I love my job.